My name is Adam and I'm 10 years old. Mine is Sean and I'm six. I'm Melissa. I'm Zane. So we are originally from north of Pittsburgh um, and we moved here when we got married. So we've been in York for about 15 years now. Now I have a question for Sean and Adam. Um, Sean, what do you want to be when you grow up? When I grow up, <laughs> I, I want to be a What about you, Adam? When I grow up, I want to play the MLS. Very cool. Okay, another one for you guys. Um, Sean, what's your favorite thing to do? Go camping. Awesome. My favorite thing to do is play soccer. So we're paired with the Blue White Society. Um, and Sean had three dancers for Thon last year. And we did have an opportunity to kind of hang out with them in person a little bit and have some fun, right? You guys make teddy bears and balloon animals and got some t-shirts and all the cool stuff. Um, and we've kept in touch with them virtually as well. So we've been very welcoming and it's been a good experience. What is Sean's diagnosis? Uh, B cell ALL. And when was it? So he was admitted to the hospital on July 3rd last year and officially diagnosed on July 5th. The doctor called me <laughs> and I was actually um, outside pushing Sean around in the stroller and I literally couldn't respond when he told me what was going on and he basically called and said his labs came back and you have an hour to pack your things and get to Hershey Medical. And he said, we have a team assembled and they're waiting for you. And I said, you have to tell me why I'm going there. And he said, well, I'm not really supposed to. And I said, but you're going to. <laughs> um, and when he told me, I just, it was like I was frozen. Like, I knew that he said words, but it was like, they were just kind of like, garbly and finally he was like I need you to breathe and I was like mm-hmm mm -hmm. trying <laughs> I remember playing football out in the yard with Adam just thinking I gotta stay as normal and as flat as possible because he's gonna pick up on this right away they were like you know but don't worry we're doing really good hands and we have this program called four diamonds and that was it <laughs> like we just lost it and she was like okay i've never got that reaction before she's like most people are like really happy to hear this news and i was like it's not that we're not happy i was like it's just that we were on that side and so it's hard to be on this side and we were, we were pretty involved i was on i did one year of rules and regs and then um I was on operations for two years. I was a captain for the operations uh, committee. Just very involved. I know all of you do so much. My senior year, right before we got married for Thon that year, I cut all my hair off <laughs> and donated it because I just fell in love with this one little girl. And, um, you know, so I just always felt like we were put there for a reason. And so I think that also made everything a little bit more emotional when he was diagnosed. I think we appreciate it too, like how much everybody at Penn State does and just like the culture of it. And just even in 15 years, how much it's grown. Because yeah, that's what I was gonna it's, say. I mean, when it was in Rec Hall, it was I, the last four hours, everybody poured in, but that was still like maybe 2,000 people. And now just see the BJC and then like thousands of people there and just the money, the money amounts. Just uh, it's amazing to see how much it's going. Are there any specific moments in your cancer that you'll never forget, or is that you want to share? We were in the hospital for 32 days, and um, Sean's a very active kid, so not being able to do a lot of active things was, I mean, it was definitely a challenge for him. So one of the things that we like to do, uh, they, they, thank goodness, let us go outside and just we, we took a stroll and walked around the walking path. And, and I remember on like Saturday and Sunday morning, the hospital was probably least busy. 
and just going out for walks and that was like our time together it was like a moment a little bit of moment of clarity and peace the childlike yeah. um yes. people at pensy she are just amazing um the dog would come visit becky the dog would come visit and he loved her you know some negative things you know obviously stand out too i remember we were so like i was so happy to bring him back home because we had been in the hospital for so long and so we you know got in the car and we were really excited and we came home and he couldn't walk up the staircase because he had gained so much weight and he was so weak from laying in the hospital that long and i just remember that like just like ripping my heart out and i definitely will never forget the day we were sitting in the hospital and i was there by myself with him and he looked at me and he said just tell me why we're really here and we had been there uh, several weeks at that point and I think he just was kind of rolling with it and then he finally realized that something was really wrong um, and that was one of the hardest like explanations to give your four-year-old <laughs> why am I here and I just remember a couple of times I tried so hard to not cry in front of him and I just remember a couple of times he would look over at me and he would go mom just smile because I'm fine. It's just funny, like being on your side, you know, we heard so many times, you know, like what Four Diamonds does and what Thawne's mission is and, you know, everything like that. But I just think until you're on this side, <laughs> you just can't know the true impact. Um, you know, when they came in and they said, you know, do you want to sign him up to be a non kid? We were like, well, of course we do, you know? And I can't imagine being a family in a different hospital. Like, I can't even fathom how that would happen. Even in some of our small interactions with like Blue White Society, I mean, we, we only really got to, to physically meet them once. I could just, I mean, I could tell that was it. It was like, this is the half hour that we get to, to spend with the boys. And like, I knew that they really cared. And it's it's something about, you know, people like that, that really care. And they don't even, they have no idea. They, they don't know us. They don't right. know anything about us. And they just, uh, they're doing all this, spending all this time. I just know that there's, I, there's an army behind you. I mean, the, the kids at Penn State, like just the people are very, very supportive. And the financial aspect of it's obvious. I mean, that's an obvious thing, but it's really the emotional support behind it, I think, that is what you need, especially within those first couple of days, months, year. And I think that's been one of the best things, both for us and, and for the kids. I'm thankful that Sean's treatments are going really well and that. You know, within a month's time, he was technically cancer free. And you know, everything now, even though it's a, a long road now, it's just a preventative, so it doesn't come back. And for the first year, 13 months, um, you know, everything has gone, you know, relatively well. You know, you you have those setbacks, but he's progressing. He's, you know, we're trying to live as much of a normal life as we can. I, we've we've done so many things this summer uh, that when we were in a hospital last year that we wished we could do and and we've done bonded a lot because <laughs> we spent all the time together. Um, but it was just nice to be home. It was nice to be with him, and um, it was nice to be home with Adam. We get him on the bus and make the waffles in the morning, and kind of get I had an opportunity to be more of a mom that. Sadly, without Sean's diagnosis, I would have not had. So, um, you know, to look for a bright spot and everything. I, I'm thankful for the experience. I'm thankful for the first experience in 2004, 2006 that we had a thon. I, I, I'm not just saying it's because we're in that position now, but I, I really feel like it in some ways changed my life to begin with. And just having that experience having the people, having some of the friends I still talk to that were Thon captains and part of Thon and danced in Thon. 
um, and having that now too. Very thankful for that experience.